Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm excited to introduce you to Motif, the sponsor of this video. Now, if you've used Figma before, Motif is going to feel pretty familiar, but with a bunch of AI features that really set it apart. One of the most exciting features is AI reduplication, which lets you create duplicates with new content in just seconds. It's perfect for speeding up your workflow. There's also auto layout, which we'll dive into shortly, and you can even build entire design systems using AI. You can use AI to generate UI designs from scratch, along with many other AI-powered features that we'll explore together. Just like Figma, you've also got the ability to do prototyping, and Motif has its own dev mode to hand off designs to developers. If we go to the pricing section, they've got three plans. The starter plan is free and gives you unlimited personal files, which is pretty awesome. Then there's the professional plan at a very affordable price, which is only $4 a month, and if you just want dev mode, it's only $1 a month. For now, all these AI features are free, but only for a limited time, so make sure to check them out. All right, let's sign up and explore these features. Once you're signed in, the UI is really similar to Figma. You've got your search bar here, a button to create new files, and options to import designs from Figma and Sketch. You can even import Figma libraries, which is super useful. Let's open up this file to explore all the AI features. Here is the cursor, then here is the frame button and slice button. Then all the shapes are here. Then the pen tool, text button to add texts and comment button to add comments to the design. Here are all the plugins, and I'm sure they'll add more in the future. Now, let's look at the AI features. The first one is AI reduplication. With it, we can quickly create multiple duplicates of a card with new content. To use it, just select the feature, drag this little symbol, and voila, new cards with fresh content. The text detection is so good, it adapts to whatever content is on the selected card. Let's try it out. Perfect. Let's create a card to test this feature. Let's add an image to it using the plugin and some text also. I'll select everything and convert it into a frame. Now let's apply AI reduplication. Perfect. It's working exactly as expected. Next, we're going to try the AI layout.
Here's a frame where, if I resize the box's size or change the text, the space between them doesn't adjust automatically. Normally, you'd have to adjust everything manually, but with AI Layout, it does that for you. Let's add AI Layout to it. Now when we change the text or resize the box, the spacing adjusts on its own. Later, I'll show you how to use AI to create a full design system, but for now, let's try the AI Generates UI feature. I'll type in a prompt to generate a UI for a jewelry shopping app. You can see it created a beautiful UI design based on the prompt. It's completely customizable. Let's change the color of the button. Let's add two more products using AI reduplication. I absolutely love this feature. You can try some example prompts to generate designs. Let's go with this prompt. This is so good. Let's try another prompt with a dark color theme. Let's see if it can generate or not. Wow, that's impressive. Just keep in mind, the more detailed your prompt, the better the result. Next, we'll try this AI magic box. For that, let's add a frame. Now if we draw a rectangle using the magic box and type the prompt here, it'll show the suggested designs and we can add that directly here. Let's add a song playlist here. We can create duplicates of it using AI reduplication. Let's add the bottom nav bar here. We can add two more song playlists. Great, 
The AI magic box is really useful for generating entire sections of a UI. Here you can learn about how to create a design system using AI. Now let's create the design system using AI. Let's choose the sample file here and start the process. Let's view it. Here you'll get all the colors used in the design. If you click on the search icon, you can see where the color is used in the design. Here you can view all the typography. Then here, you'll find all the effects like shadow, layer blur, etc. Here, you'll find all the icons and buttons. You can check where the buttons are used. you'll find all the things used in a design in an organized manner. There are some other AI features to explore. You can try it by yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think about Motif and don't forget to check it out. The link to the site is in the description. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and share this video, and I'll see you in the next one.